Hey guys, Flatbed 101 with Mike. I just got done with this load by myself. I'm fucking worn the hell out because there's a lot of goddamn straps. But what we have is a load of brick. Okay, that's what we got. We're at uh, Interstate Brick in um, West Jordan, Utah, which is a suburb of uh, Salt Lake City, right about 13 miles from the yard. Um, but you'll notice. The big thing I want to show you is how I crisscross the front and the back like this. Um, that's something that Prime is really wanting us to do now for palletized loads. And it's good for brick too because it keeps it from, it'll it'll keep it from sliding forward should I have to slam on the brakes. So we've got two crisscrosses on the front. Now I didn't put corners on the front because if you look real close there's already cardboard corner protection on the pallet. Um, you've got... Uh, um, corner protectors all the way down um, now you'll notice I did the excess like we normally would on this one but I rolled it all up in there on this one and that's because once you tighten these they get really skinny like this and they just won't they won't hold the excess like like this will with all the wide you know so we got a strap over each each individual one um, there's 22 pallets so 11 of them so 11 straps plus two for your crisscrosses um, and then I did the same thing on the back with the crisscross so and then it looks exactly the same on the other side so um, the twist I've covered this before but the half twist on each side um, we're not twisted up top ever 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 but this half twist on the side um, it serves two purposes um, the first purpose is uh, it prevents your straps from sitting there vibrating going down the road and that vibration is going to wear out your straps faster it's going to loosen up your straps faster and it could cause damage to the product um, the other thing that it does is and i'm just going to go with physics and leave it at that because i don't understand how or why it fucking works but it does um, when you put the half twist in there you don't have to crank down on the bar quite so hard to get it as tight i don't know why it just fucking works that way so um but yeah, it's really simple. The big thing that I wanted to go over was just this crisscross over the front, just like that. It comes from right here and then up and over and then the same thing on the other side, same spot, and then coming down here. Now you'll notice I probably could have gone here, but I didn't because there's a stake pocket right here. And when you get ready to tighten that sucker down, if you have it right here, it's going to shave the edge of your strap and it's gonna create an out of service situation. So you always wanna be next to a spool if you can help it instead of a stake pocket. Um, I've covered this before, spool, stake pocket. So, but that's all I wanted for now. I'm gonna go drop this at Salt Lake City Yard and I'm gonna run to Peterbilt. I gotta do a little work on the truck that we found out about when I rolled in. Um, and then uh, as soon as they get done with that, we're rolling off to Pennsylvania. So yay, snow. Uh, you guys be safe. It's looking like it's going to be a rough winter. So uh, take it easy. Peace.